Hey, hey boys and girls, this is the instructional video on how to use our music software for our music lessons using an iPad. So if you can, I recommend you using a computer for this task. But if you only have an iPad or an iPhone or a, a device like this, then um, feel free to use it. But if you have the option of using a computer I recommend you doing it it will be a lot easier to to navigate anyway if you're using an iPad the first thing that you need to do is to go on to just your internet browser and type in noteflight.com that is the website that we're going to use there are no apps to download it is all website based so the first thing that you're going to have to do is set up an account and you can sign up for free now I've already got an account so I won't be able to show you how to do that but you will have to click that box up there, click that you're not a robot, put in, oh okay we don't want to verify anything yet, alright go away, um, put in your email address and you'll have to create a username as well, please choose a username and um, password that you will remember, it might be a good idea to just write it down so you do not forget. Um, try using your username or your password for, for that you use for your school accounts. All right, so I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. I'll just log in for a second. Hopefully my password, password works. I had to change it before because it wasn't logging in. And when we log in, we get to our first um, page, and this is all of my scores that I've already created. Um, I've been playing around a lot with it, as you can see. What you're going to do first is go to create and create your first score for, today, for this week's task. We're going to give it a title, so you might want to call it week, oops. I'm not very handy on an iPad, so you have to bear with me. Week one lesson. Okay. Now there's lots of different things that you can do on this website. We're going to keep things very, very simple, hopefully. First thing that we're going to try and do is to put our crotchets on. So if you remember, I said that we were going to use two bars and put four crotchets in each bar to make it eight bars altogether. As you can see, I've got four bars here, so I'm just going to click there and delete that bar. I'll show you one more time. Just click above the stave and you press that little minus button and it will, oops, try again. It will delete that bar. What it wanted me to do there was make myself a composer, so I'm just going to make myself a composer here. Not Boyer, I don't know, Beer, I don't know who he is, Mr. Boyer. Okay, so we're going to start adding some crotchets onto our stave now. What I need to do is, if your keyboard does not automatically appear, you can click the, sorry, you can click the keyboard button up the top there and the keyboard will appear down the bottom. We are going to click on the crotchet symbol which is that one there make sure that is um, selected and then when I click my notes wait a minute let me click there on that part click my notes and they will come up And that's it. Now, as you can see, it's created an extra bar once I clicked my eighth um, crotchet. So I'm going to just delete that. Oops, fat fingers. Oops, try again, delete that one. Now what I can do is I can hear the melody that I have created. Okay. Yeah, not bad, but I think I might want to make some changes. So that's easy to do. If I want to make a change, 
I can just click on that, get my keyboard. As you can see, it is that note has been selected. I can change it and it just went up. If I click there, it's going to go up higher. So I can just click whatever note I want to change. Okay, avoid going into this section because we go below um, the normal stave. Okay, it's, it's going into another octave. So we just want to stay, oops, I'll click that one again, put him back up there with the rest. And, oh, fat fingers, delete that. Let's listen to it again. So you can play around with this and choose um, the, the melody that you want to make. Now, if you do happen to make a mistake, um, the easiest thing that you can do on an iPad is to click there, click the edit, and if I put that there, now edit is up on my little bar up here. So I've got my edit and duration. They're the only ones that you're really going to need to use. Let's just say I did make an error with that and I didn't want that note to be there. I could cut it out and then we get that symbol coming up again and I can cut that one out and I can cut that one out and I can cut that one out. And now to go back into the notes, I would have to go and click on them. And you can come in. Mrs. Cavassini, Mr. Gala have just arrived, guys and girls. Having a bit of a chat, you can come in. Um, oh no, I need to go back to the keyboard, that's right. So I click there and my notes will appear. Okay, whoops. When you're finished, always make sure you press that save button. Now, as you can see, mine's week one lesson with a lowercase w. If I press the save button when I'm finished, it will save. I click on this symbol here. I can go to my scores. Have a look at all of the scores I've created. This is the one I've just created then. Open it back up. It should be there. You can play it again. Now you can go and show someone in your family your very first composition that you've made on your music software. Good luck guys and girls, have fun.